And we're back with another edition of Dolphins All Access by Cuno alongside Kim Bo Camper here in Miami Gardens at the Dolphins Training Facility. Bo, the big news this week is Devon A. Chan yep. definitely hitting IR, which means we're not going to see him till after Germany, after yep. the bye week. It's going to be a while before the rookie sensation is back. How do you think this affects the offense going forward, particularly the run game? Well, look, I think they've got plenty of guys in that room. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we, we've seen Raheem Mostert and what he's done. He'll yeah. get more carries. They'll spread some carries around, and, and I'm not worried about that. And, and I'm really not worried about him because it's it's, it's kind of odd because he, he played after he was hurt, supposedly. Um, not sure what it is. No surgery per se, at least we know. And he's going to be out for a while. So, you know, as long as he's going to be back, as long as it doesn't require yes. surgery, as long as it's not a season-ending thing, okay, it's a bump in the road. Right. But here's a bump in the road. The guy's giving you a lot. He's giving you what? What's he got in here now? Six touchdowns? Seven touchdowns seven, last three Seven games. touchdowns. Second all, leading you know, rush in the NFL. Yeah, there you go. And yeah. so you're losing something mm -hmm. very big there. Uh, but, you know, you could chase Claypool. Right. You could chase Claypool on the other side. You don't know so. So you still throw the ball a little more. But – I, look, it's a shame that, that he's down, mm -hmm. but I, like I said, I'm just glad it's not a season ending. Yes. I'm glad he doesn't have to go under the knife. All those types of things mm -hmm. are positive things, and since we know there's going to be a short period of time, put him on four weeks, looking forward to him coming back and, and giving us a boost. What's most important, December, yes. January, and hopefully into February. It definitely does seem like we're seeing a trend here with players who are injured with yep. the Dolphins taking the more cautious approach. Because if you look on the other side up in Buffalo, they are getting hammered right now yep. with injuries, and there's nothing they can do about those. Those, you know, Milano goes down, yep. Tre'Davious White goes out. Those are season-ending well, stuff. Well, look, but look, that's the nature of the beast yes. in this league. Someone go look at look no further than the New York Jets right. and all the hoopla that went around them, and then four game, four plays into Week One, mm -hmm. boom, it's all up in smoke. It's a whole different football team. So as right. much as it can happen to them, it can happen to as Dolphins. much as it happened to someone else, it can easily happen to this football team also. But if you're deep at a position enough, no, there you go. then that's when you're you have and, the luxury. Of being and I think when you look cautious. at Chris Greer, yeah. he's put a, did a good job of getting a A team, and then that team that's one notch behind them right. is probably not a B, maybe mm -hmm. an A minus or something like that. So I think yeah. the backups are in pretty good stead with this football team. You know, you mentioned Chase Claypool because he did practice with the Dolphins this week. We got to see him out there. I kind of want to get your opinion on how they may use him because oh, he, is, dude, he is by far the yeah. biggest wide receiver, yeah. maybe bigger than the tight ends on this team. He is huge. He, he is. I think he's 235, 6'3". Yeah. I think those are, those are the numbers. And, and so I, I think you can use him in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. Certainly you can split him out wide. You can put him in the slot. And, hey, you know what? Bump in there a little bit and be a tight end for us yeah. and help us there. You know, you don't have the, the tight end. You don't, you don't have the depth in the tight end room that they had last year. Right. So if you can kind of squeeze him in there a little bit, now, the one thing we do know about him, he's been a little bit of a malcontent at mm -hmm. team. At least that's, the, that's the, the, the book on him, being a little bit of malcontent. You know, and you start moving a guy around like that into different positions where he's not comfortable, you may, you may get to a little pushback. Yeah. But I believe, I believe for him, mm -hmm. Mike McDaniels is the right coach. And Mike McDaniels said, look, he's going to play as soon as he's able to pick up the offense, the wide receiver position yeah. in this offense is actually quite difficult because there are three different wide receiver positions here. How he ends up getting used will be determined on he what he can do. He's been running routes since he's not. I years know, old. but I know, but All you're the just like, hey, same. there's one, there's two, Let there's three. I know, I know. For a receiver to go, <laughs> to me, I think to me, look, whether you're, a draft, motions, whether you're a draft stuff, choice yeah. or this or that, to me, one of the easiest positions to come in and play immediately is a wide receiver because mm -hmm. it's an individual position. You and one other guy Beat on the other side, and you just run routes and you go. All right. Well, speaking of beating your guy, the Dolphins now have the Carolina Panthers coming yep. up this week. And I thought Mike McDaniel said something interesting about their quarterback, Bryce Young, mm -hmm. rookie quarterback, who's had his struggles early on here. He called him a baller with a bright future. Is this another game, though, where you think this Dolphins defense has a chance to, once again, pin their ears back yep. and put, put some good film on tape for their second I, I do. I do. I think this defense is coming together. Yeah. I, I, think, I, I think it's a meeting of, you know, we've seen Vic Fangio and the players. Yeah. You know, one week you go, oh, Vic, you know, had a tough week, and then the next week the players have a good week. So, but I, I, think, I think they're coming to a, a you know, to, to yeah. a convergence yeah. to where they're understanding what he wants, he's understanding what he can do in the defense, and I expect this defense to continually grow as they, as they go, go moving on here. So, but I expect a lot of pressure. And look, I think this is one of those games, and there's a number of them during the season, maybe three or four, where you say, 
you know what, I could go, if it was me, I could go into this game without looking at my opponent mm -hmm. and just get my team ready to play the best that we can play. Forget about who's on that side. Do your job. Do it right. You can win this football and game. And get it done. And then look, it's, it's an important game. You can, look at a, you can look at a team that's 0-5, say whatever you want. But considering the stretch that the Dolphins are about to hit yep. where they've got the Eagles and Chiefs yep. and two of the next – Three weeks after week six, yep. you got to stack up wins where you well, can. We talked about this. We talked about the early part of the season, first half of the season, a lot of games on the road. Yeah. A lot of, you know, doing, we, we look, we've only been here for, we, this is the first Two time games, we've right? had back to back games yeah. this, this season. So getting some of those road games out of the way, especially winning them mm -hmm. and getting you back here for four home, four home, four out of the five, four out of the last five games or at, at home, right. well, that's going to be a big advantage. All right, so the Dolphins now have the Carolina Panthers. As we mentioned, it's a game you can see on CBS Miami. We look forward to it. Bo and I, of course, will be there for all of it. Thanks for joining us here on Dolphins All Access. We will see you next week as we get ready for the Eagles.